This was his work. He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed by Satan. There were whole villages where there was not a moan of sickness in any house, for he had passed through them and healed all their sick. His work gave evidence of his divine anointing. Love, mercy, and compassion were revealed in every act of his life. His heart went out in tender sympathy to the children of men. He took man's nature, that he might reach man's wants. The poorest and humblest were not afraid to approach him. Even the little children were attracted to him. They loved to climb upon his knees and gaze into the pensive face, benignant with love. Jesus did not suppress one word of truth, but he uttered it always in love. He exercised the greatest tact and thoughtful, kind attention in his intercourse with people. He was never rude, never needlessly spoke a severe word, never gave needless pain to a sensitive soul. He did not censure human weakness. He spoke the truth, but always in love. He denounced hypocrisy, unbelief, and iniquity, but tears were in his voice as he uttered his scathing rebukes. He wept over Jerusalem, the city he loved, which refused to receive him the way, the truth, and the life. They had rejected him, the Savior, but he regarded them with pitying tenderness. His life was one of self-denial and thoughtful care for others. Every soul was precious in his eyes. While he ever bore himself with divine dignity, he bowed with the tenderest regard to every member of the family of God. In all men he saw fallen souls whom it was his mission to save. Such is the character of Christ as revealed in his life. This is the character of God. It is from the Father's heart that the streams of divine compassion manifest in Christ flow out to the children of men. Jesus, the tender, pitying Savior, was God manifest in the flesh. 1 Timothy 3.16 it was to redeem us that Jesus lived and suffered and died. He became a man of sorrows, that we might be made partakers of everlasting joy. God permitted his beloved Son, full of grace and truth, to come from a world of indescribable glory to a world marred and blighted with sin, darkened with the shadow of death and the curse.